Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I am going to show you swatches of all my newest Glaminatrix Cosmetics single shadows and I have been purchasing a bit here and there the last couple of years and I think it's been a while since I made a video on them. I will link the video I have done previously underneath in my description box but uh, hopefully these swatches will be helpful and also they did send me all of their new liquid blushes so I will also show you some swatches of them first. And I'll also show you how I did this look using some of the shadows and I did use a liquid blush but I didn't use too much so I don't know how much you can see it but I do really love them. So let's get started with this video. Starting off with the liquid blushes, they look like this. It's a beautiful and elegant packaging with a name underneath and it's a very liquid formula but it's super super pigmented. So I'm just gonna swatch them right here. So this first shade is Gentle and it's one that I've used probably the most out of all of these. Oh, it's just so pretty. And this is kind of like a more cool toned mauve or pink shade, which is just very versatile in my opinion. So the next one is the shade Petal and it's a lot warmer and more peachy as you can see right here. It's also just a very gorgeous color. Then we have the shade Sunny, which is more of an orange, but it's oh, it's just so pretty and it's a little bit more of an, a wearable orange, I think. Next color is Poppy and it's very bright. <laughs> As you can see right here, it's the most red one of the bunch. And I don't think I've used this one, but I've used all of the other ones. But this, I'm sure, would be, be really pretty, but I would have to blend it out quite a bit. But luckily this formula is very blendable, so it wouldn't be a problem. Last shade is Lavish. And I think this shade is actually my favorite together with this first one called Gentle. This one blended out is just so pretty and gives a very earthy, kind of rosy pink look. And you can see it's quite warm and almost brownish in tone. But I, I mean, I should have tried to blend this out a little bit so you can see how they look blended. I'll just see if I can do that right now. Okay, so I tried to blend them a little bit just at the edge there and I feel like you can get quite a good picture of how it's going to look. Uh, the last one, Lavish, didn't look like it blends <laughs> that well, but I promise you it does. I've used it several times and I think there is something for everyone in these blushes. Uh, as for the finish, they don't, like it dries down completely, but it does give a very natural kind of shine. So those were the blushes. So I am storing all of my Glaminatrix Cosmetics shadows in uh, this one. It is from V Cosmetics and I think it's really neat. It has four pages, so it's like kind of like a shadow book. And the first page, I guess you could say, is this. And these are kind of like the older Glaminatrix shadows I have. I do have a few that are a little bit newer, like this one is a holographic one, but I really didn't like the formula of it and I had to press out a lot of the binder, so uh, I'm not showing that one today. Um, but I'm going to show you all of these ones. So I did kind of put most of my favorite ones here, but for the mattes, I do love all of them equally. It just depends on what kind of colors I want. So these are the shadows that I will be sh swatching for you guys today. And I can just show you a little bit more close up too, so you can see the textures a little bit better. And yeah, they do have a lot of interesting shades and shifts and just colors in general. And I really love the Glaminatrix formula. They're so sparkly and stunning and they last very well on the eye and I don't really have any creasing with any of them so that's a very positive thing about them. But I think I'll just get started with the swatches and I already did them so I'm not going to do the live ones but I will show you the finished swatches and talk a little bit about the different shades. Here we have the first row and we have Twinkle on top, then it is Cinnamon and Papaya then we have the dark multichrome sparks. The brown is called Majestic. The lighter neutral with multicolored sparkles is Majestic. And then it's Sundown 
way way down there and that is the first row i'm going to show you a little bit close up as well again we see twinkle has a lot of sparkles it has a shift from pink to green and a very light pale base then we have cinnamon which is the deeper one right here it belongs to a quad together with sparks majestic and wait majestic and what is this one stitch up too did i forget mentioning that earlier i'm sorry uh, papaya which is the matte right here has a little bit more of an orangey bright color than cinnamon sparks is very deep but you can see it's very shifty as well super pretty it does go to green but mostly if you use this you will see more of that orangey red to a gold the brown matte is just a regular brown matte whereas majestic has so many beautiful sparkles to it and it almost looks a little bit more cool toned with those blue sparkles the bottom one called sundown is also super shifty but it's a very flaky kind of formula like electric if you have that one from before I will show that in the next row, but those have the same kind of formula, which is flakier, drier, and a little bit more gritty to the touch. But as you can see, it smooths down perfectly, and this is without any kind of base. So you will be able to use it as a regular shadow, but I would recommend using it with a glitter glue to get it more opaque and shiny, of course. So that's the first row. Here is the second row. It's mostly just greens and the first one is called Smog and it's a very dirty kind of green shade. And then the second one is Electric that I told you about. It has a flakier formula. Then it's the shade Opulence and we have four mattes. The darkest green on the second to last row is called Cocktails. The bright neon shade is called Moonlight. Then it's the very, very deepest one. It's called Showbiz and it's Mistletoe that is the more vibrant green shade. Here you can see them with some light coming in from the side. I guess it makes only sense to show the shimmers with this different lighting. But you can see Opulence is just a very subtle but still very sparkly and shifty shade. Electric is a little bit more bright with that lime to pink shift. And I really like these. Just look at how beautiful they are. And the mattes are very beautiful as well. And very opaque, as you can see. So that is the second row of my Glaminatrix singles. Here we have the purple and blue row. And I love these colors so much. The first shade is Cornflower. Then it is Bloodstone. I think it's one of my favorite shades of Glaminatrix. It's so unique to me. Um, and then we have the purple, which is quite bright. It's called Regal. And the most, um, or the lighter blue right here uh, is the one that they released for Christmas a year or two ago, I think. It is called Slay, and the other one is Nightlife. And the lighter grayish blue is called Polar, and the more deep, deep brown is called Curls. And here you see them close up and I think you can understand why I say that Bloodstone, the second one, is one of my favorite shades. You can just see all of those shifts in that shadow. It has a kind of reddish brown base but the shifts are just so immaculate. They're like blue to green and then it's purple. It's just very very special I think. And the mattes, you can see just how opaque they are. Maybe you can see them a little bit better from this angle, at least the mattes. <laughs> but yeah, that is the blue and purple row. Super, super stunning. Here we have the last row swatched and we have shades Bear, Mink, Panda, Fox. The lighter red is called Stocking. The deeper red is called Chaser, and then the very last shimmer there is called Edgy. And here for some closer shots of the shadows. So you can see that these four, I think it's called Glimmering Creatures, um, the kind of formula of these. It's basically neutrals, but they are super shiny and sparkly, as you can see. And I feel like they have a little bit of a deeper base and then a very light um, sparkle to them. I don't know if you can understand that. It's a little bit, or the formula reminds me a little bit of the Velvets from Glam Shop, just maybe a little bit more sparkly. 
It's very, very stunning. And they do look a little bit more different than you might think. Um, basically because Bear, for example, is a lot deeper, even though they look very similar in the pan. And you can see the undertones are different and they're just super, super stunning if you want some beautiful neutral shadows. And we do have two beautiful deep reds. Stocking is just the perfect Christmas red. And Chaser is a little bit deeper than that again. And the last shade is one of my favorites too from um, <laughs> Gluminatrix, just like I said about Bloodstone. It's one of their newer shimmers and uh, it is just so, so stunning. It's very deep and dark, so it's not something I use a lot. But this reminds me a lot of Nightmare from Pastel Roses UK and they reformulated that and it doesn't look at all the same anymore. It's just super dull. But the original was a little bit like this, just maybe a little bit less green and more taupe. And I just love how it looks. And I hope you're able to see all of those colors that are going through it. It's a little bit hard for me to see because the lighting behind <laughs> the camera is so bright. But I think it's uh, good lighting for you guys. Um, but it's definitely a green and it shifts through blue and I think a little bit purple. Um, but it's very, very beautiful. Super stunning. So that was the last row of swatches, so now I'm going to make a look using some of the shadows. So for this look I really want to use Bloodstone. I have used it before but in a more neutral look for work. But I think I'm going to start with maybe this shade right here. And I'll probably... I think I'll use Polar right here to blend it out to make it a little bit cooler tone towards the inner corner. But I also want to use this bright purple to really get the purple from Bloodstone to shine even more. I just picked up that shade Nightlife on my Glam Shop 022 brush and I'm just going to place that in the outer corner here. And I don't want to make this look way, way, way too dark. Um, so I'm trying to just stay right here and then I'll rather blend out with those other shades. And this is super pigmented as you can see here. So I'll just buff out the edges a little bit before I apply something else. And I just noticed I was holding the brush all over here and when you do that you get a lot of pressure so it's much smarter to hold it a bit further out. Then you won't have too much pressure on uh, the brush and you will get a better blend. And with that same brush I'm taking the shade Regal and I'm just applying that overlapping the previous shade. I just changed my brush and I grabbed the shade Polar and I'll just see how deep that's gonna be. Well, that's really nice and light actually, so I think I will go for that. And the brush I'm using is Glam Shop 005 for this. Now I think I'm going to go in with a kind of white shade. I've been using the one from Glam Shop's Nugatova palette lately and it looks like this. So I'll just grab that and blend all over uh, or underneath the eyebrow and towards the inner corner. Now I am taking Bloodstone on my finger and I'm just going to apply it dry because it feels like a formula that is... Ooh, that is just going to work really well that way. It is so, so pretty. What I really like about this is that it's almost iridescent too. I don't know if you can see a lot of that color underneath, but it's kind of just like a warm neutral base. So I think it works to add it towards the inner corner, even though I don't have much color there. And I'm just trying to tap it upwards. I think just like this is perfect. So I'll finish off the other eye too and I'll see what I'll do for the inner corner and the lower lash line. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that deepest shade and I'm going to apply that just in the corner over here. And I decided I'll just blend it out with that lighter bluish gray shade that I already used on here. And now taking that same brush I used earlier from Glam Shop to apply that. I'm starting to get wrinkles, so it's harder and harder to blend here in the edge, but I think I'll just say that that's okay. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit more towards the inner corner here, 
and I think I'll just apply the inner corner shade later and show you the close-up because I'm really happy with how this is looking this far. That was the close-up of this look and how amazing is the bloodstone color. I just am so obsessed with it. It is so stunning and shifty and unique. I don't think I have anything else that's uh, the same as this. And this is not really a review of the single shadows, but I will tell you that the Glaminatrix shadows, both the shimmers and the mattes, they are some of my favorite formulas. It's just so easy to work with. And I love how the mattes are very pigmented and very opaque. Even the lighter ones are quite opaque and they build on top of each other and they just give a very nice, beautiful blended look and very intense as you can see right here. <laughs> But that's it for this video. I hope that the swatches were helpful for you and uh, I didn't mention this in the beginning, I think, unless I try to film it later, but they are actually having a 30% sale, but it's probably just a few hours left of it. But if you are interested in these shadows, I mean, they're probably going to be on sale again, but 30% is a very good discount for Glaminatrix and I definitely recommend them. But I don't want you to feel like the fear of missing out just because you don't jump on this sale. Uh, I just want to let you know in case you are interested in getting some of these shades that you can uh, take advantage of the sale that is going on right now. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!